I really couldn't beat him, and I didn't know a lot about the game. I wasn't very good with the controls, and um, I kind of quit that game for a good few months. And uh, then I went, and uh, I think I got, I replayed a bunch of the missions because I still liked the game, and I didn't feel like playing like Modern Warfare 2 or whatever game was out at the time. And uh, yeah, playing Modern Warfare 2, oh, that was fun. Um, but well, it lasted. I mean, before everybody was like, "Oh, you got a quick scope, or else you suck." But um, yeah, Metal Gear. I did a whole whack of stuff in between that, and um, but then my friend he convinced me one of the people that uh, I'm currently running Gamer Den with. He uh, he told me, "Oh man, Metal Gear Online, MGO, and stuff." So I'm like, "All right, I'll check it out." And uh, everybody, I guess, has like the map packs in that game, so you could never get into a lobby. And um, so I had to pay 17 bucks for for this thing. And don't don't get me wrong, it's a really good online. But I mean, I just wasn't very good at it, and I didn't feel like because I know a lot of people don't watch those videos and stuff. But um, so I felt kind of discouraged because um, because nobody would watch the MGO stuff, and uh. Like, I thought I was good at one point at the game when I was, like, going into the normal lobbies, but I guess they have, like, different lobbies where it's, like, Otacon and, like, Merrill and something like that. And, uh, I was playing in, uh, Merrill, I think, where the, the newbie players play. And, uh, I guess in Otacon, everybody is, like, Buddha Jesus Zeus at the game. And, uh, so I got my ass handed to me when I joined in there when I thought I was really good. So that was kind of disappointing for me. Um, yeah, and then I then I ended up going back and playing the entire campaign and recording some of it. And uh, you'll see some of that on my channel. I tried recording most of the boss battles and stuff like that, which uh, which turned out to be kind of fun. I mean, because I love the game. I love the fact that you're some like 90 year old man kicking ass in in like the middle of the desert. Like how badass is that? But um. Yeah, and uh, so I actually beat Liquid at the end, and I, and I like flipped shit, and I like texted my girlfriend. I was like, I just beat Liquid, and she's like, Who the hell's Liquid? And I'm like, Oh, you don't know. And then I just hung up, or not hung up. I uh, I just <laughs> I just ended it because I wanted to watch the, the like the hour long cutscene at the end of the game, and um, which was funny. I mean, I love the, I love the fact that she doesn't know what I do. When it comes to games, I'll tell her that I got a new game, and she's like, that's nice, is that like a first person shooter, and I'll be talking about Zelda or something. But, um, <laughs> but, um, yeah, I played that game for a bit, and then I switched over to Fallout. I did, um, I did Fallout 3, I played Fallout New Vegas, and I beat the story mode, like, twice. And, um, because the first time, I had no idea that the game would just end it on me. Because, uh, yeah, and then... Cause I originally didn't beat Fallout 3 before I played Fallout New Vegas, and um, I had no idea that the game would just jump and end at me. So I was like, "Oh shit!" So I actually, I think I started halfway through again. I reloaded a previous checkpoint and just didn't do the final mission because I wanted to play around a bit. But um, yeah, I started playing Fallout 3 and uh, over at my mom's house, so I couldn't record anything. But uh, I'll probably get like a memory stick or something and record or. And, uh, and, like, download my saved data from that PS3 over there. The one over here. Because, uh, I'm a lot better over there. Because, uh, I have a lot more stuff. But, um, yeah, I'll probably do that soon. But, um, yeah, Fallout 3. It's so, it's such a good game. It, like, it's never ending, you know? Like, the fact that you could just go in and, like, I got the ghoul mask and... I was so happy about that, and uh, I love the radio station in that game, because it actually sh like says what you're doing. I said it's kind of annoying because they only have like four songs. I think it was, I don't think it was as annoying and followed as it was in, uh, in New Vegas. New Vegas radio station was much more annoying. Um, but uh, yeah, when I had the ghoul mask on, he was the three dog. He was like. Hello, everybody. Three dog here, and so and he'd be like, and he was like, oh, and Vault Lander 101 or something. He'd be like, 
you look stupid in that ghoul mask and I'm like oh that sucks but um so I really like that aspect of the game I thought that was really clever of them to do so yeah that was a lot of fun um and then I tried going back to Killzone I did that for about a week I played Killzone 3 exclusively and um and I wasn't I don't know, I was having fun, but I mean, it's a hard game to get really good at, you know? Like, I could play bots and shit, and just on the easiest one, and just, like, quick scope people if I want, but, I mean, to actually get good online, it's hard. Trust me, it is hard, and I get mad at that game, because, um, with the jetpacks and stuff on this one level, where they have, like, that Stargate portal in the middle, everybody's, like, killing my ass, and I'm trying to get up to the top, and I'm always freaking out, because I can't get up there. So, uh, <laughs> that kind of sucked, but I mean, overall, the graphics are just so good that it doesn't really, it doesn't matter because it's such a beautiful looking game. But uh, compared to Killzone 2, I think it, I think it was better for online, because Killzone 2 sniper rifles, they're dumb, because if you rotated your controller up or down or whatever, it would, it would look up or down on your sniper rifle, which made it super sketchy to snipe, because it just didn't work. So, um, that, that was terrible in that game. I could not, I could not play the game. But, um, <laughs> yeah, that's, because I, I went from playing, like, Modern Warfare 2 and stuff, where you could snipe, and it was, like, flawless and beautiful and awesome and bootish. And, um, I just invented a new word. Um, but, yeah, going from that to the sketchy-ass like Killzone 2 sniping, I was just fed up and I just turned the PS3 off as soon as I knew that it happened. That the the sniper scope moved around like that. And I was like, screw that, I'm going for a walk. And um, I'll, I'll actually do that fairly, fairly often. If I'm getting mad at the game, I have like a door, like right here that leads outside on our deck. And um, I'll go out there for like five minutes or something and just sit down. It gets really hot in this room too. So it's not just like when I'm mad, but it's, I mean like, when it gets hot in here, I'll, I'll sit out there for a little bit. But, um, and just kind of cool off, you know? I think that's good that people can just cool off like that, you know? Like, um, especially even if you're playing the game for like an hour or two hours or whatever it is, or 32 hours like I did. Um, long time ago, long story. Don't really want to explain it too much because we're kind of running out of time. But um, yeah, I don't know. like. It's just good to just take it, like, go chill for a bit, you know? Because uh, like, I find if I'm playing games for too long, I start feeling kind of sick, you know? Because I was playing Fallout Three for like twelve hours one day. I know that's ridiculous. But, um, and I felt, I like, deadly sick. I felt really bad. But, uh, I'll explain that more in some other time. But, uh, for now, I'll see you guys later. And, uh, hopefully you like this video. Please subscribe.